Okay, this is a trail at uh, Clear Creeks. I was told it was a new trail, I don't know. But the, he said there's a old mansion back here or some of the remnants of it left. So we're gonna go back and check it out. To find it, you see way up there, that is the uh, Clear Creek's main office. Well, right by the barn there is a drive. You just follow that drive and it brings you back here. And you park back here. Um, there's an open drive. Oh, there's a path there, but that might just be take you down to the creek because I can hear some kids down here. We're going to go over here and look at this. I'm not a fan. I know I've said it before. Of, trails out in the open in the sun park closes nine fishing access eight all right well daily trout limit two so we are going to follow this along and see where it takes us now, this is cool here Looks like a little dam. Okay. My battery and my camera went dead. I forgot to charge this morning. I charged it, but it didn't charge enough and it needed to take off. Um, anyway, so I'm continuing with my phone. Phone takes crappy pictures and stuff. But you see where we walked across where we just started? Now we're going to walk back here and see what we can find. And I do apologize if it takes crappy photos. I know my camera doesn't do stabilization, but this phone's old. I need to get a new one. I think he said it was a two-mile hike, round trip, all the way around. I don't know if this is a loop. Or what it is it's not on the map yet on their park map yet so I don't know we will have to keep an eye out though for the mansion What could have done that? <laughs> I wonder if one day, back in the day, this was a road and that was an actual bridge for traffic. I mean, look at the, if it's got the caution signs, the black and yellow caution signs on there and guardrail and pretty solid bridge. I'm thinking one day that this was traffic. Why would they put those caution signs on there for a pedestrian bridge? Why would the park do that? So if this was a road back into here at one time, I wonder where it went. And if he said there's an old mansion back in here, remnants of the mansion, then it may not have been a road, it might have just been a driveway for the people at the mansion to get to their residence. So I'm wondering if this is a loop 
eventually we're going to break off into a loop or if it's just strictly an out and back. Here we go, we got a sign. And we got a separation and trail here. And we got up, oh, here we go. Well, we can't go up there. That's a mansion. I think there's something else back here. As the way he talked, he said there's just wall a few walls still standing. So I don't think that's the mansion. I mean, those chairs right there, they ain't all that old. <laughs> this would be awesome. If it was still, it don't, I mean, even in post there, they don't look all that bad. The structure of this doesn't look all that bad. Why is this closed? It's got electricity because it's got lights up there. I would love to camp in this. I would love to get in there I and mean, just walk over there and look at it. But... There's a reason it's taped off, so I'm going to follow along. Alright, let's see what we got here. So I don't think that's the mansion. Alrighty. This is what we're at right here. This is where we crossed the river. This is where we're at. Okay, it looks like a loop, but then it breaks off into a, an out and back, and then you can finish the loop. The ruins. I'm going to assume that means the mansion. So we got to go all the way back and then follow this piece here. And then when we come back, we'll go this way. So... If we go off to the right, that looks like a quicker shot to get in there than just going this way. So we will go this way. Okay, now, there must be a trail down there. That's just a tree, I'm not sure. There's no trail down there because there's no trail on the map.
Okay. There's no marker here. Well, I'm not sure if this is, uh, this might just be going down here to the stream. Make sure it's not a stream crossing. Curious why that cement slab is right there. Could it be something left over from the days of the mansion? And apparently that's something significant because why would the park create a path down to it? A gate. Okay. Uh, I know the ranger told me too that there is a lake back in here. I wonder if that's what's up there. We should see on our return. But that gate may have been the gate to the resident. We don't want you in here. I'm hoping there's a sign back here. Here's more information. This is it. Water. Maybe connected to the lake, which I'm thinking is just right up here. Yep. Well, this is nice. I wonder if they had this built for their own needs. I am going to, this is like it, and that's heading back. I am going to try and see if I can call the ranger, if I'm getting cell service. <laughs> uh, because according to that map, it shows it comes back as a loop. But then there's a, an out back part, remember? There's no map here to look and see of our progress. But I don't want to go back. I want to find this mansion. <laughs> so I'm going to try to see if I can get a hold of him and let him know I'm at the lake. Why am I not seeing a mansion or any walls? He's saying there's some walls. So we'll see what happens. All right. 
So we are starting to head back now. I am curious if this is natural or man-made. I mean, this could be like a dam where they've built it up to carry this lake. there a little bit. Green Mansions, 1930 to 1992. Green Mansions was the home of W.E. Benoit, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and Emily Platt Benoit. They explored these hills and valleys. Throughout their lives, they learned about the natural world and shared their love of this place with their children and friends. The Benoit's have created a living legacy through the generosity that will benefit wildlife and people for generations. The clearest way into the universe is through the forest wilderness, John Murr. 1930 to 1992. So does that uh, mean that that uh, mansion back there was occupied till 92? Well, like I said, that is still quite a task, them building that driveway all the way back to that, where it was at. And maintaining it during the winter was a job. We're back to finding the ruins again. I looked at this map wrong. Well, I didn't, but there wasn't one here at the lake to look at. This. But if you look at it right here, this is where we were at, the lake. That lake was quite a ways back. That's where we were at. And down here is where I followed the trail, thinking that was closed to it. But we are right here now. Because we kept going, and this was to take back down. Well, right here, there's another trail going off this way, which is this one, which takes us to the ruins. So, now we are back on track to go to the ruins, to the mansion. So the mansion was not the one down there that I thought maybe where the trail was closed. But it is this way. So that one that I was following, and I finally gave up following it. Because I was following it for quite a ways. Um, curious where, where it took me. But this one is the one to the ruins. This is their driveway, I'm going to assume. I'm sort of curious how close this mansion is to um, the lake. I should have looked, looked a little bit better at it, but I must bet it's in their backyard probably.
I mean, if somebody goes all this money to put a house back here and build a lake, they're going to put the house and the lake near each other. We will come back when we get close to it. Okay, you guys. Here we are. I don't know where that goes. We will look at it and see if it just goes around down here. I say that's probably what it does. And Metro Park's doing a pretty good job in keeping it clean and everything. Trying to Maintain what's left. Ooh, bat house. I just see the actual design, what this looks like. This is probably part of the lake down here. Nope. A little grill. Some interesting steps. What's that over there? Yes, this is where they had little family barbecues. I doubt that wood there is that old though. I'm gonna guess that this little part here was not an actual part of the house, but like an entryway. I am going to look online and see if I can find a picture of this house. Let's go down here and see what this little thing is down here. Falling in there a little bit. Interesting. Electricity. This one's locked. I wonder why. 
don't know what they used in here. Fence. Do not cross area. I see water down there. So this must have been their access point to the lake. Now right over there, I imagine the power got it closed, so it's probably just deteriorating. And they don't want somebody falling and getting hurt. So I will respect their rules and not go in there. But I am planning on putting this video on YouTube, so. <laughs> Um, but that's their access point, looks like, to the lake. They probably may have a little boat down there, canoe or whatever. Probably went swimming, whatever they did down there. I want to, I was thinking it probably just curved around, but, and it might right in through there. That looks like it may have, this drive may have extended through there at one time. Okay, that's been a gradual climb all the way up since we left. I ran into this. I'm curious if this is what leads back down there to the ruins. And that one section that I was starting to follow and it was closed. I'm curious if this is where it goes to. I mean, seems logical. I don't know. But I know that since... I started back, it has been a gradual uphill climb all the way. And we're almost at the top now. I was waiting to get to the top. And I was gonna stop, get me some water. Pretty hot, humid today. Uh, now we're at the top. I'm gonna get a reading. I wanna see how high up I am. Okay, I'm at 11.09 right now. So if you come back here and you don't want to mess with this hill, um, when you come back in, go counterclockwise like I did. Stay along the bottom of the ridge. And then when you leave, instead of continuing to go counterclockwise and follow around the loop, just turn around and go back out the way you came in. And you'll avoid the hill. But if you want to do the hill, just keep on going counterclockwise all the way through. I imagine even if you go clockwise, because we're up there at the top, we're going to have to go back down eventually. So if you were to do it clockwise and you're going to climb the hill towards the beginning, we already climbed the hill. Now we're going to go back down it. So basically, if you don't want to mess with the hill, stay along the bottom. 
in and out. If you want to get a workout, take the upper upper section. I would like to know, like I say, I'm going to look it up and see if I can find a picture of this mansion online that I'll put on this video when I post it. Hopefully I can find one. Um, but I am sort of curious, uh, which way did they use to get in here? This upper route or the lower one that would have brought them in along the lake and back in through that way. I'm curious, which one was the driveway? Like I said, this trail is not on their map yet. It's a, he said it's a new trail. I don't know how new it is, but um, it's not on their map yet. So probably nobody knows about it unless um, they're told about it. Um, I have not seen anybody out here. I'm the only one out here that I know of. I ain't seen anybody, I ain't heard anybody. But you know it's official because he told me about it and you've seen the little markers on the trail showing where you're at and, and so forth. They wouldn't put those out here if this wasn't an, an official park trail. They just, next time they print maps, this one will probably be on it. I doubt they run and print maps every month. You know, I mean, you it to be costly especially when they print them they print them in color on a heavy bond paper so and they probably print up quite a few I mean you see, you see them everywhere all metro parks have them and they they may print maps up once a year they probably have an idea how many they use a year and that's probably what they print up. I know if I grab a map, put it in my pocket, by the time I get home, that map's pretty much shot because I'm sweating and then the map just the ink and everything all smears and and, and it's just a, a mess by the time I get home. I try to save my maps and use them as long as I possibly can. But when I'm done, as we all should do, is put our paper in a recycle. And make sure you put them in recycle bins that do get recycled. I've seen places have recycle bins. And I've watched regular um, trash pickup 
dump the regular trash, and then they'll turn around and they'll dump the recycle right in the same truck. And you know where that's going, right to the landfill. So make sure when you do recycle that it's an actual legitimate recycle. Don't take it for granted that it is. Got some rocks in here. Oh, this is from that rock crevice. That were we seen coming in or not? Remember there's a couple rock overhangs coming in? You gotta watch rocks and you gotta watch the roots. They can be slick. I prefer to step on the ground, dirt, compacted dirt. I don't really like walking on sticks or roots. I don't really like walking on rocks. And I don't like rocking on um, leaves. They can all be slick. If I do walk on them, I try to watch my footing. And not take big steps on them. It looked like if we were coming the other way, and we were going around this loop clockwise instead of doing the counterclockwise, this would have been a nice little climb right here. I think this looks like it might have been more of a climb going clockwise than the climb I did getting to the top back there going counterclockwise. Maybe more gradual, I don't know, but it just seems like I'm taking longer to go downhill than it was for me to go uphill. Maybe it's just my imagination, I don't know. Okay, it looks like we're back to where we merged off. So I'll, go, I'll say this again now. There's that cabin. That cabin is so cool. When you get to this point, if you go that way, if you go this way, clockwise to the right, or counterclockwise, you're going to be pretty much flat. Um, you might have a little bit when you've got to walk up to get to the where the ruins are at. Not much. Then you just turn around and come back that way. Very little hill climbing. If you go to the left, or if you come back that way, you will climb. You will climb. <laughs> 